one and all, Ascendance of a Bookworm is getting another season. Holy mother of God above. I literally saw the announcement and immediately started recording. I don't exactly know what I'm going to say, but I'm so excited for this. I mean, seriously, after the anime ended, after the, yeah, after the last season, the anime ended, I'm like, oh God, come on, we're getting another season, we're getting another season. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and finally, at like the start of this year, I'm like, all right, you know what? It's never happening. I'm just getting reading light novels. I absolutely love them. Seriously, what happens next is just so far removed from everything we've seen before. It's like an entire new dimension. But at the same time, it still has that, you know, bookworm feel to it. It has mine obsessed with books, working for books, trying to make book after book after book. And now, she has the authority of the Archduke. Literally the most high-ranking person in the entire duchy, which means she has so much more freedom to do whatever she wants, and she basically just say, well, yes, my father will take care of it. Do you know who my father is? It's fantastic. It is utterly, utterly fantastic. But now, on top of, you know, having to deal with being a shrine maiden, she also has to deal with, you know, being the Archduke's adopted daughter, which means so many freaking classes on etiquette and just understanding noble euphemisms. I mean, seriously. Nobles are almost physically incapable of talking clearly. There's this one side story that mine's not in, but, but between these two people used to date, but there was whole issues with that. And they, like, go back and forth for, like, a full three or four pages just like talking about the gods while at the same time there's like three levels of subtext to everything they're saying that's basically them just throwing shade back and forth it is weird it is so freaking weird and i'm so excited for it also not to mention this before it's being made by wit studios yeah the people who made attack on titan uh freon spy family and ancient magus bride that last one is particularly relevant because this season is going to be so freaking magical. I mean, seriously, mine has done some, you know, very impressive feats of magic throughout the series. I mean, seriously, what she did in the last episode of the anime should not have been possible by any stretch of the imagination. Seriously, there's actually a scene that happens right after this in the light novel where uh, Sylvester wonders, hey, is she dead? Did that kill her? Because there's a fairly good chance that killed her. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Alright, so yes, a third season, you can, I promise you, I can absolutely promise you, I'll be covering it on this channel, I'll be doing, you know, talk, I'll be reacting to it, I'll be talking about what was cut out, what was included, uh, just stuff like that, and, oh god, I already have like five video plan, five videos planned to do just, you know, building up to it as each uh, you know, like, each day before it's officially announced, because, yeah, there's actually so much in the last light novel that wasn't included in the anime. That's the thing. This series has, uh, five parts. Last part just ended, I think, today. And, uh, each part, when we get to the last volume in it, the side stories, like, double. There's, like, eight, ten, there's, like, eight or ten side stories that are just, like, oh, this is all the things, the crazy stuff that happened, uh, while mine is being adopted by the freaking Archduke. <laughs> oh, holy mother of God. I'm literally going to do a video on each one of those. Uh, definitely a video on every episode, maybe a few other videos. I mean, I'm absolutely obsessed with this series. Like I said, I started reading it at the beginning of this year. No, not even the beginning of this year. The beginning of summer, I'm already caught up to the most, you know, current physical release. That was like 20 volumes in six months. Oh, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. And, oh, God. Last volume, it came out my birthday. It was the end of part four. Heartbreaking. Utterly heartbreaking. And I loved it. Uh, so, anyway, yeah. This current season, the next season of Ascendance of Bookworm, will cover part three. Mine being officially adopted by the Archduke and turning the printing industry from, you know, something that she's doing because she wants books into something, you know, the major industry of the duchy, which in terms of scale, is astronomically different. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really want to say about this. Honestly, this video probably could have been a short, but I was just so freaking excited about this. I wanted to make a video. I wanted to promise all of you I will be covering this series. I cannot wait for it. I don't think we have any information on the release date, but I'll make another video when we do. And, uh, until then, until next time, peace!